So I want to start by telling you about one of my greatest friends, Okoloma Magwebasi. Okoloma lived on my street and looked after me like a big brother. If I liked a boy, I would ask Okoloma's opinion. Okoloma was the person I could argue with, laugh with, and truly talk to. He was also the best person to call me a feminist. I was about 14, we were in his house, arguing. Both of us bristling with half-baked knowledge from books that we had read. I don't remember what this particular argument was about. But I remember that as I argued and argued, Oklahoma looked at me and said, You know you're a feminist. It was not a compliment. I did not know exactly what this word feminist meant. And I did not want to come back to know that I did not know. So I brushed it aside and I continued to argue. And the first thing I had to do when I got to the team of the World Now, fast forward to some years later. At some point, I was a happy African feminist who does not hate men and who likes lip gloss and who wears high heels for herself and not for men. <laughs> of course, a lot of this is But that word feminist is so heavy. We can evolve, but it seems to me that our ideas of gender <laughs> we do a great service to boys in how we raise them. We stifle the humanity of us. We define masculinity in a very narrow way. Masculinity becomes this hard, small cage, and we put boys inside the cage. We teach boys to be afraid of fear. We teach boys to be afraid of weakness, of vulnerability. We teach girls to shrink themselves, to make themselves smaller. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you threaten the man. The problem, the problem with gender, is that it describes how we should be, rather than recognizing how we are. Now imagine how much happier we would be, how much freer to be our true individual selves if we didn't have to meet with expectations. I think very often of my dear friend. And he was right that day in years ago when he called me a feminist. I am a feminist. And when I look up the word in the dictionary that day, it's what he said. Feminist, the person who believes in social, political, 